Hi guys, welcome to another 31 Days of Tarot. This is day two. Um, today's prompt is, what are my top five tarot decks of 2019? <laughs> um, it was a little hard to decide because <clears throat> a couple of them are kind of repeats. So I'm grouping two of them to, as one, <laughs> just so I could sneak one in there. Um, but yeah, so let's just let's just get into it. Um, I wanted to pick one of them, um, but I already showed it to you in yesterday's video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm, I'm just gonna skip that one, but what would have been, would have been the broken isn't bad tarot, but I just showed that one to you guys. So I picked something else. <laughs> okay, so um, let's start, let's start, let's start. So tarot, these are tarot decks. I have to remind myself because tomorrow's prompt is oracle decks, which is gonna be fun because I, I tend to use more oracle than tarot. Um, so the first one is, there's a double one. It's a double whammy. Obviously, right away is going to be in my pile, you guys. Like, I'm obsessed with right away, but I promise the other ones. Well, there's another right away one, kind of, but <laughs> um, I'm obsessed. I love right away, it's my favorite. But I chose the giant right away because this one made a debut this year, um, specifically for my tarot course. So, I started my very first tarot course, um, in the summer and I specifically bought the giant tarot, the giant rider weight for the, the, the course so that I could show the cards and, and there was like, you know, something huge to look at rather than having like a little tiny card that I was holding up. So I specifically bought the giant tarot for my tarot course. It ended up being a really good idea because it's so much easier to see this this deck when it's larger. Um, and so it became a favorite for that reason. So when I'm doing videos on tarot, I tend to pull out this deck now. So this was an instant favorite for that reason. So the giant Rider Waite tarot deck, you can find it on Amazon. It's worth the purchase, 100%. The other one is the Rider tarot deck. This is the um, the <laughs> non-copyright edition. This one was gifted to me um, by a member in our tarot community and it was the most amazing and thoughtful gift ever. And it was instantly a favorite, one, because it's right or white, but two, because it's a pre-copyright, meaning there's no copyright in the corners of the card. It's a vintage and I am in love. So this one instantly became a favorite. It's even just the cardstock of this deck. It's the plaid backs, but the cardstock is kind of like papery slash matte kind of. And it's um it just shuffles like a dream. <laughs> and it's just my favorite. So this one was instantly a favorite if as far as the Rider Weight decks go. Um, so the next one is the Illuminati Tarot. So this is the book, the box. It comes with a gigantic guidebook. Um, the Illuminati Tarot, I chose this one because, um, I would use this one a lot in readings. I don't necessarily take pictures of it because it's very glossy. It's such a rich deck. Um, it's so vibrant in color and it has so much detail. And so it takes a certain kind of a client for me to pull this deck out for. Um, and it's it's rich in color, it's borderless, and the only gripe I have is that it's very glossy. So trying to take a picture of it can be a little bit of a challenge. Um, but I find that you can be looking at the image for so long and you will still find stuff that you don't catch. And that's what I love about this deck because you can lose yourself in the images. Um, and so I chose this one as a favorite because it's just, I don't think the Tarot Illuminati gets a lot of love. Um, I don't see it being used very often, at least through when I'm scrolling on um, Instagram and stuff. It's just not a widely shown deck. Like I don't, I don't see it being showcased in photos and stuff. So 
Um, I really, really, really like it. It's very, like I said, it's just rich. It just reminds me of earth and energy, I guess. And um, I was really embracing earth energy throughout 2019. So look at this tower card though. I mean, isn't that beautiful? So it's just, it's just a gorgeous deck. Like you can lose yourself in these pictures. Um, oh my God, look at this two of swords. So yeah, I highly recommend this one if you're looking for um, a Rider weight, kind of an essence of a deck, but not necessarily Rider weight. Um, this one is a good one. It, the only thing is it's actual people. So if you're not into like the actual photos of people, you may not like it, but that stuff doesn't bug me. Oh my God, look at this Eight of Swords. <laughs> It's so pretty. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Tarot Illuminati. Definitely a favorite this year. Surprisingly too, because um, I don't know. I just didn't, I didn't think I was going to love it. But it was one of those that it was like, I wanted to pull away from Rider Waite. But I still wanted the Rider Waite theme. And this one totally did it for me. <clears throat> um, another one that I loved is the Art of Love Tarot. Um, whenever I'm feeling like I need, I need to like use my intuition more and not necessarily be swayed by a right or weight in, in, you know, right or weight type of a deck, this would be a deck that I would pull for. Um, it does not follow right or weight. It's very intuitive. It almost feels like an Oracle deck, which is another reason why I really like it. Um, but I get such good readings from it. So the card backs are reddish with a nice little yellow heart in the middle um it's very good for romance related readings it's soft energy but it's so good and the artwork is absolutely beautiful so this is why i said it's kind of like a like an oracle because you get the little um keyword at the bottom and then like so this one is ten of hearts so it takes away from the usual cups wands swords and pentacle and it um uses other symbols <laughs> um and I just find it so beautiful and I love the artwork so this was a favorite um I pulled this one out a few times for client readings I think I was using it a lot more in the spring this is more of a spring kind of a deck to me I don't know why I think it's just like all of the nature and like you just have this gorgeous tree with the butterflies. It's so gentle. It's such a gentle deck. Um, I love the retreat card. This one's supposed to be the hermit, but it's a retreat. So it's it changes some of the names. So that's why I was saying, like, if I'm looking for a tarot reading, like to do a tarot reading, but I don't necessarily want to use like tarot, the typical stereotypical tarot, this is a, the, the one deck that I will go for. So the art of love tarot and the only thing is it's a big deck like it has the borders so I guess if you wanted to deck mod that it could make it just a little bit smaller but it is a large deck so I usually have to stop shuffle sideways because I can't I can't do it the other way and it also comes with a big guidebook but I have it I have my guidebook out on the bookshelf so yes um next is another Rider Waite I can't help myself but it's the Diamond Tarot I actually made um a video where I was showing this deck because I was so excited when I purchased it um I bought it off of eBay it's out of print the backs are very like geometric looking it's different it's weird it's supposed to give you the image of looking like as if the tarot card was inside of a diamond um so that's what it's supposed to look like <laughs> so the only thing is like the the main tarot image is very small and then you have like this diamond border but it's like the actual image is is just mixed up in there and in, in the you see what i mean like it's distorted it's really pretty though and it's just different. So if you love Rider Waite and you're always looking for Rider Waite clones, the Diamond Tarot is something that I think everybody should own if you could get your hands on a copy. <laughs> it's made in the 90s. Um, so it is out of print, unfortunately. Um, but I usually see them popping up on eBay. 
I haven't seen them pop up in the de like, like the deck trade groups on Facebook, but I have seen them pop up on eBay. So maybe you could snag a copy if you really like it. Totally worth it, in my opinion. <laughs> Especially if you could see past like the small image of the, the card. It's just really cool. It's just different. So the Diamond Tarot, that was one of the, it was a show, like I, I guess I'll call it a showstopper deck. <laughs> Whenever I, I posted pictures of it on, um, on Instagram, people were asking me like, oh, what deck is that? So it's not one that you see a lot either, which is kind of exciting because you kind of get to add a little bit of something else, something different to the mix of your posts than what everybody else is doing. And lastly is the Crow Tarot. This one was a gift from a lovely friend. Um, so she gifted me the Crow Tarot. Seriously, through the beginning of 2019, I was seeing crows everywhere, so was my husband. And who would have known that that was literally the, the tipping point of our tower moment. Um, and since the tower was the year card for me last year, or this year, 2019, it was the tower. Um, and literally the crows were revealing there was going to be an oncoming change. I just saw 11-11. That's so cool. <laughs> um, and so my friend, she, she knew about the whole crow thing that we were seeing and experiencing. And so she was like, I'm going to buy you the deck. So the deck is here and it came out in so many of my client readings. I would say in the springtime, like summertime, it was, I did a lot of them. I love the card backs. They look like feathers. Um, and then there's absolutely no humans in this deck. It's all crows and other animals. And the artwork is absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful. It follows Rider weight, so it's very easy to interpret the imagery without humans in it. Um, and I really, really, really love it. I think it's so good. I get really accurate readings with it. I love the way it shuffles. The cardstock is kind of like, it's kind of thick, but it still shuffles really nicely. Um, and I just can't get over the beautiful imagery. And the crows are so cute. Like there's some really cute ones. Let's see if I can find. Like the five, the five, six, this is the seven of pentacles. He's in this, a little nest of pentacles. He doesn't know what to do with himself. <laughs> Um, look at the Queen of Pentacles. She's got her little throne and she's wearing her little crown. So cute. So yeah, I really, really, really liked this one. Um, it was, it's fun to, it's fun to work with. And I use this, I think I, I think I use this deck for my September daily readings. I'm pretty sure this one, this is one of the, one of the decks that I used. So the Crow Tarot was definitely a favorite um, this year, 2019, sorry, last year. Shit, I'm like all confused. Okay, so yeah, you guys, that concludes my top five decks of 2019. Um, tomorrow is going to be day three, and I will be showing you guys the top Oracle decks, so stay tuned. See you guys later.